Hello there, my name is Moira McDonald and I have a wee junk journal to show you. Um, it's made from a paper bag and it's one signature. I have um, put some wee seed beads on, hopefully you can see them okay, on the spine where the sewing is and these move about so it gives you something to kind of touch and play with. Um, front and back are just a couple of scrap <laughs> scrapbooking, not scrap scrap booping scrap booking papers um, and a wee bit of the lace along the centre there there will be seam binding to tie it but I've just dyed it and it's drying so it's not ready yet it's sitting in the radiator so by the time we go through the book hopefully it'll be ready um, first thing is in here I have uh, just a tag that oops it's upside down uh, a tag that I made and uh, this is a Stamperia paper this is from um, a wee book of card embellishments that I'd got and I just put the you know it was to make a card um, with a variety of die cuts so I just put it together and used it as a tag in this or a journaling spot and I've added a wee bit of um, burlap or hessian whatever you want to call it at the bottom and a wee bit of a gauze come cheesecloth there and obviously you can write on the back if you wanted to use that as extra journaling space although there is there's ample journaling space in this I haven't overdone it in terms of uh, decorating the pages um, first right inside the, the very front, front cover there's a couple well, one pocket and again we've got a couple of uh, journaling spots should you need it, that's one of the tags if you watched the video I made the other day of um, me making a tag this was the other tag that I had made that day and again you can use the back for journaling uh, so on the first page we have uh, oh by the way the book is called Secret and it's called Secret because I have die cut the letters from the word Secret throughout the book um, into the, the actual page itself so you'll see I've covered the back with an extra wee journaling spot uh, but I called it Secret because I thought you could use it for your wee kind of private thoughts and your Heidi infos and whatever um, so we've got a wee kind of collage here and uh, my first letter S and inside I cut using a Stamperia paper uh, a card there's a, a variety of hearts throughout the book to use as extra journaling spots uh, book page here more collage in the letter E die cut here uh, this particular scrapbooking paper is a uh, Prima marketing paper I can't remember what it was called I think it's Misty Rose or something like that uh, but it's a really nice paper um, here's a, an envelope made from a piece of Edith Holden and what I've done is I've opened it at the top as if it was a sealed envelope and on the back I've sealed it using a uh, sealing wax and I've stuck some paper flowers below the sealing wax just to make it look like a wee kind of romantic lady's letter that she would have kept in some lace there. There's nothing in it but obviously you can use that as a, another tuck somewhere. Uh, some stamping, there's kind of random stamping throughout the book uh, and some collage as well and here we've got a double tuck or a double pocket of some description uh, just another wee tag that I made this morning uh, die cut down here and I fussy cut a girl image and used some of the Tim Holtz um, acetate wings and did some random stamping and the, the sections at the top are cut with a Martha Stewart punch. So, and that's from the Stamperia paper. And this is a vintage, a genuine bona fide vintage uh, birthday greetings card. It's not, st it's not stamped, and there isn't a date on it. Birthday greetings to my dear friend. Our friendship memories make the pleasant pages in all life's histories. It matters little what the birthday age is when friendships please. Oh. 
and on the back it says to Miss Walker. Now they've got in the top that it was to be a halfpenny, oh, sorry, a half penny, but halfpenny is what we used to call this. A uh, half penny stamp. So it's it's obviously very very old, and I would say for the style of walking, style of walking, sorry, style of writing, it's very old. Uh, to Miss Walker, wishing. Wishing her many happy returns of the day and many of them with love from Mrs. Pierce. So good old Mrs. Pierce sent that to Miss Walker, whoever Miss Walker is. Um, book page here, it's French music page and page from, I can't remember what the name of the book is, but it's all floral. Uh, this is one of the rosettes from, if it's a Tim Holtz die, and there was a set of three rosettes. Uh, so you basically, you cut it out and then fold it up and glue it. And I've just put a vintage button on the top and a wee bit of lace at the back of it. Uh, got another pocket here. And this is another uh, sort of journaling spot from the Stamperia paper. And just cut down that piece of Stamperia paper there, again for, it's not a book tag, but for journaling. So we've got a double pocket there. Over here we've got letter C from Secret. Collage and some washi there and some stamping as well. And just a button on top of some corrugated card. Uh, here I actually cut that C too low to put a heart shaped backing on it. So I used another piece of the paper and you can journal here and again it folds over so that's still secret. Um, book page and um, that's from my German book with a gothic writing. Good tea stain, oh sorry coffee stain in that one, bit of stamping. Some more stamping there and another hidden journaling spot. Uh, over the page here we've got a bit of tool up the top and I think this is a, some Tim Holtz ephemera. That's just a fussy cut image from a book and some old vintage newspaper and a sticker down the bottom. And vintage page from Stanley Gibbon's stamp album. Uh, vintage page from an old atlas. Just a collage of a couple of pictures. Book page again. And we're getting to the centre of the book. This is from that old atlas again. You can tell it's from the old atlas because it's referring to Ireland as the Irish Free State. So it was clearly not long after Ireland became independent from uh, Britain. Letter R from Secret up here. And again you've got another journaling spot there. Another rosette and a piece of vintage lace there. More vintage lace, some stickers. And the letter E from Secret. And over here we've got another page cut from the That Misty Rose paper pad. A little one that I cut here. Just some washi tape, some stamping. Um, here we've got another double pocket and I've got another one of those tags with a, it's been die cut to cut holes in it and I've done quite a lot of stamping on that and uh, just fussy cut the image of a wee girl and put on some Tim Holtz wings on that one and here is another one of the uh, postcards from the Stamperia paper and another hold on, it's a bit of a tight fit, there we go uh, another um, card that I cut out and backed with some Stamperia paper for an extra journaling spot so like I said at, at the beginning there's absolutely tons of journaling space in this particular book between the the pages themselves and the variety of uh, ephemera that you can use. It's just a fussy cut rose from some scrapbooking paper, some book page.
another private. Oh, that's the tea from Secret. And we've got a stamp title tower down the bottom there. Uh, this was just another really nice image that I got from another book, uh, just a week in a country cottage with a church spire in the back and some vintage lace. Uh, just stuck that down there and here is uh, another envelope with a wax seal on the back and some pink roses. Again, I've not got anything in this but it could be used as a tuck and just some lace on the front some vintage stamps at the top. Another wee collage. And this is the back. Now this the back itself doesn't actually have a pocket here but there is a pocket on the flap and in that we have another Stamperia bookmark type thing and this is the actual tag that I made in that video the other day. Um, you can journal on the back of that. And that fits in there with that. If I can get it past that a bit. There we go. And that's the book. And like I say, there is seam binding. It's not completely dry yet. I've dyed it using a combination of bundled sage and peel paint distress ink. Um, so it should match in quite well with the colour of the green shades of the cover but it's still a wee bit damp so I'm not going to tie it up just now. So that's my book. Hope you like it. Um, I'll be putting that for sale in my Etsy shop. Um, you can let me know what you think, if there's anything that you would do differently. I'll tell you something, I don't think I would want to do this again. I had those wee beads everywhere. They were all over the floor. It was, oh, honestly I'll be crunching wee beads forever. Uh, I mean, that was just me. I should have, if I'd thought before I started, I might have had them a wee bit better organised. Anyway, that's my book. So thanks very much for your time, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!